Getty Donald Trump has been accused of trying to disrupt peace talks in Korea State Media KNCA said, the U.S. is making desperate efforts to till the hard-won climate of detente on the peninsula, it deliberately strains the situation while massively introducing nuclear carrier task forces such as Carl Vinson, Ronald Reagan and Stennis and nuclear war hardware including B-2 and B-52 in the vicinity of the Korean peninsula, and it is mulling putting break on the positive development of the situation while crying out for tightening sanctions against the DPRK, the claim from Kim Jong-un's propaganda machine comes as historic talks between the Korea's thawed IC relations ahead of the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics. The two countries agreed to field a joint ice hockey team as tensions cooled after months of threats, but now Pyongyang claims the U.S. is attempting to drive a wedge between the two nations. The press release claimed Pyongyang's olive branch sparked a sinister response from the U.S. in a bid to discredit North Korea, including claims the paranoid hermit nation is developing the capability to fire multiple nuclear warheads simultaneously. There were also warnings from the U.S. that Kim had plans to auction off nuclear missiles to the highest bidder in a desperate attempt to earn some money amid tough United Nations sanctions. News of these threats was coupled the revelation from CIA Director Mike Pompeo that he has presented a series of military options to President Donald Trump. The U.S. deliberately strains the situation North Korea statement the propaganda outlet said, this is a revelation of the sinister intention of the Trump group to turn back the climate of reconciliation between the North and the South of Korea at any cost and focus international attention on the DPRK's denuclearization once again as it is an expression of the U.S. displeasure with the reality in which the situation is heading towards detente and peace on the Korean peninsula. The CIA director was accused of shifting public opinion towards a potential nuclear missile threat. KCNA said, all facts clearly prove that what the U.S. wants is not detente and peace on the Korean peninsula but escalation of tension and war. Saturday, January 27, 2018 South Korean police SWAT team demonstrate the anti-terror operation at the starting ceremony of Pyeongchang Olympic Security Force before Pyeongchang 2018 The news comes after Trump was warned to prepare for war with North Korea by former U.S. Army General and Defense Analyst Jack Keane. Defense analyst Jack Keane said America must stop sending military families to South Korea in order to allow the U.S. to prepare for a war on North Korea. Mr. Keane said America must start to bring our forces into the theater in an effort to shut down Kim Jong-un's nuclear regime. Getty Joint Korean Ice Hockey Team trains ahead of the Winter Olympics Mr. Keane said, I firmly believe that if you wanted to prevent war then make sure you are fully prepared for it, if we are saying we are going to go to war to prevent him from having a nuclearized ICBM we have to show him some of that capability. We should not just be talking about it. Flying a bomber in for two or three days isnt impressing anybody. Get it USS Ronald Reagan's is based in Yokosuka Naval Base, near Korea. Let's put in place some of those resources that we would need to thicken the defense in South Korea and load up those bases, naval and air bases, with the capabilities we need, and then stop sending the military families to South Korea. That doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever.